I get this question all the time. Why do you keep going back to you know, wherever it is you keep going to see this Danny Johnson woman? Why, why do you always keep going back? Doesn't, you know... And, uh, you know, I have an answer for you, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to it at the end. Like, uh, those of you who ask, I just, I want to challenge you to look and see how much my life has changed. Because the question is, does it matter why I keep going back? I cannot imagine I would be the man I am today. I didn't believe it was possible. All I know is that before my brother dragged me out in 2011, I had plans to kill myself. I didn't want to go through another Christmas. What was the point? I was working a job I despised for people and with people I had no respect for. No. Going deeper and deeper into debt every year with no goals and no dreams. None. I would wake up in the morning. I would go through the day. I would drown myself in entertainment when I wasn't working so that I didn't have to think about anything. And then I'd go to bed knowing that I'd get to wake up tomorrow morning and do it again. And now I love my job. I had my highest income year by far this last year, like by a long shot. I paid off $161,000 worth of debt in this last two and a half years because of what I learned. I have goals and dreams. I get to watch them happen in front of me every day. Every day. I have friends and family like I could never imagine. And I'm alive. You know. Maybe that doesn't make you happy, but it sure makes me happy. <laughs> so I keep going back because I learn more. I, the question I have is, why do you keep reading your Bible? Haven't you read it already? Do you have to read it again? Why? No, you have to read it again because there's always something new. Because by the time you get to the end, you're somebody totally different than when you started it. And everything means something different the second time around. And then the third time around. And then the fourth time around. However many times you've read it. If you haven't read it, well, that's a topic for a different blog. But... So I keep going back. I keep going back because I'm not yet where I want to be. I'm so far from where I was, but I'm not yet where I want to be. Because the people who have what I want are there, and I want to learn from them. I want to be like them. I could stay in my city full of people who have no goals or dreams who hate their jobs, who have poor relationships with their family, you know, who are on the brink of divorce or whose kids hate them or, you know, are living paycheck to paycheck if they're even doing that. Maybe they're living credit card to credit card. Or I could go learn and spend time with people who make more money than I could ever have imagined before, who have amazing marriages and amazing kids who have goals and dreams that they set out every year and hit them every year. Who have relationships that should not exist according to who I was. So I'll keep going back. I'll keep going back and becoming the man I am supposed to be. And I know your life is probably perfect. You probably make the income you want and accomplish all your dreams and have amazing relationships with your spouse and your kids and your friends. But if you know someone who doesn't, you know, 
I recommend. I don't recommend. I say you're foolish if you don't. Go to dannyjohnson.com and get signed up for First Steps to Success. You get to go see Baltimore, which is going to be cool. And you get to change your life. You get to find some hope. Don't be like I was. Don't stay like I was. Dying without any hope.